were having a very fascinating discussion about Deion Sanders. And Warren was this close to getting me to believe that Deion's going to be super duper successful at Colorado. I'm, I'm still not all the way bought in, but wow. uh, and, and it started because Brett Favre was like, oh, Warren would make a great coach. And I'm like, Warren Sapp would make a great coach? Get out of here. And, and Warren's been down with Dion at Colorado. You've seen it all firsthand. Uh, they pour concrete. Just know this. Y'all, th um, and Seth, I'm, I'm going to lump you in even though I don't know your thoughts. Y'all all probably think the Dion thing's going to work. Warren, you start oh, us I'm, off. I'm, I'm fully in. Because the man is so consistent and patient with, the, with, with them young men. And then he surrounded himself with great, with, with good coaches around him. It's not just him. It's not just him. If it was just him, I'd be like, Prime, you can't do this all by yourself, baby. You're a Florida boy, and I know we walk around with chips on our shoulders and think we walk on water, but that's just too much. He's got a great staff with him, mm -hmm. and the kids are all in. When, I mean, when, he, when he's in front of them talking, I mean, it, it's almost like they're in a trance. And you know how that is when you got a football team on one beat. When you got a football team on one beat, we can do whatever we yeah. want to do because we're all rowing in the same direction. And when you have that as a football team, that's special. Yeah. I'm just telling you, he, he's a special individual yeah. leading a special group of men out there right now. And he, and he brought it, and it's him. He brought them all. That's, yeah. This is his. So I'm just telling what I saw with my own eyes. And if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have came home, got on a plane, went back to Dallas to, with him to TCU. I just, I just, great players, I don't think, make great coaches. Not always. Not always. Usually I never. I don't think ever. Usually never. There's but always an exception different. to the rule. It is. Well, name him. Uh, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders will be that. We exception. won game. <laughs> no, no, no. He wait, won at Jackson State. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let, let me ask let me ask Come you a now. question before you know you go to Brett and then you end up with me about Dion. What is it about Dion besides him being a great player that makes you doubt that he can arrogance? Arrogance. Okay. Arrogance. The male jealousy right there. No, 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 no. Listen, Do I know what he did. You got to have that supreme confidence that you can go out no, there and shut out one third of the, the, the earth. I disagree. What do you I, mean? I, Warren, I, I, I've watched all you guys play, and I have tremendous respect. I, I, I th didn't you finish running up for defensive player of the year? And I mean, you guys are all special level players. I watched all yeah. of you play. You're incredibly gifted. And I think a lot of times incredibly gifted people have flaws that their gifts make up for, but they think their flaws are part of their strength. And Dion was not the greatest corner to ever play the game, in my opinion. That's why. Because of his arrogance. God bless. Just because of his arrogance. No, 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 no. I'm saying I don't think that's what made him great. God gave him some incredible gifts in the womb, and, and he maximized that and worked hard and, and did all that. But it's not the arrogance. He, he, the arrogance, to me, is a shield or a beard for some insecurity. And, my, and just to be quite honest, when I see people that over the top, when I see people, he's my age. We're 56. We're the same class. I see people still wearing gold chains at 56. That's some insecurity, and because I bought some gold chains, and, and I never wore gold chains in the beginning, but I got me a nice Cuban now. <laughs> that ain't the level I'm talking about. Oh, he he running around with Run DMC, and, and, and again, I'm not a I'm not a Dion hater. I just just got a little male jealousy. I don't. I really don't. I, I would love for Dion to be a success. Humility is at the foundation of all sustainable success. Sustainable success. Swagger and all this other stuff we love to talk about, we love to rap about it, we love to, we gotta put have it. Put it on display, yeah. Put it on display. Yeah, yeah. That's all worthless. But his patience he, makes sense. Some of the things you were telling me. No, 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 I'm telling you. Are I, humble oh, acts. No, I'm telling you. The, the patience, Ooh, the oh, work ethic. You're talking oh. about when he drove, he's driving 90 minutes to go coach high school yeah, that, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's humility. Yes. That's humility. But I see too much arrogance.
to think that it's sustainable, <laughs> but I, I'm open I to being proven wrong. You know, yeah, you yeah, know, okay. you know, see, I like that. You open for it. When I, yeah. when I, no, when I, without question. Okay. When I watched Dion and when I watched what happened, okay. So I got into a little dispute on social media because somebody fired. <laughs> they were talking about, you know, he was over the top. And I said, you know, and I'm part of the media now. But I think one of the greatest injustices and one of the greatest problems with the media is that when someone writes something or someone says something and they get proven wrong, they don't have to eat crow. They don't have to go back and recant. They don't have to go back and say they got it wrong. See, my brand is that, you know, I don't bite my tongue. I tell it like it is, <laughs> and it might not work on a national level sometimes, but that's in Philly, that flies because that's what they want. But when I get it wrong, like I said, Brandon Graham will never be a double-digit sack guy because I've been around football long enough to know I can look at a guy and tell you, guess what, he got 11 sacks last year. You know, the minute he got 11 sacks, I went on air in post game and said, you know, hey, I got it wrong. Congratulations to Brandon Graham. I sent him a text. OK, and I think that's the way it should be. But you can't talk about Dion and you can't talk about his kids and what they can and what they can't do in the national media mm -hmm. and think he ain't going to come at you. You know who you're dealing with. He's been arrogant and I won't say arrogant. <laughs> I'm going to call Dion one of the most confident football players that I ever seen in my entire life. He's overly confident. If everybody else walked in that kind of confidence, they'd be amazed at what they can accomplish. OK, so. You can't come at him and think that he's not going to come back at you. You know, you, you just can't. Ed Werder didn't come at him. That one Ed. It wasn't Ed. He was, he, did, he, was, he was talking to Ed Werder. Ed, well, it was no, the other I, guy. I missed, it was the Shalit guy. I missed this. What are y'all talking about? Guy. The guy wrote an article saying no. all this buzz Sap. in college football right now. Sap, you in my lane. I'll show you the guy. No, no, it amen. wasn't Ed Warder. It wasn't Ed. Sap. It wasn't Ed. Why would he be asking Ed Warder if he believed? What did Ed Warder write? Sap, you know, you know me and Ed Warder are peers. Brother. This would be like me arguing with no, you no, about no, Joe No, 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 you're Gray. not. When I'm sitting here, I'm, I know the guy that he, that he was I know about. Ed Warder. It wasn't Ed Warder. It was Ed Warder. What did Ed Warder write? He didn't write anything. When you he say you met, you, I read that bull jump, because you can hear the guy's voice he in was, the exchange. He was talking to Ed Warder. It's an Indian reporter named Shadik something, and he wrote all this noise about Colorado we're just basically going to be talking about a two and ten, a two and ten team, or worse. Ed Werder, I'm friends go. with Sap. And I, go. You got you wasn't I'm there. With, you wasn't there. I talked to Ed Werder. Ed Werder cannot. I heard say that Ed Werder's voice oh, God. say, uh, "Believe in what?" That was Ed who said, "Believe in what?" Oh. I know Ed Werder's voice. Oh, no. It appears. No. No. He's, he, again. No. This is like me arguing with you about Derek Brooks. Hey, Book. you wasn't there. I got the video from the boys that's in there. I know exactly who he's talking to. I can show you the reporter on the, with his tweet, because I even I tweeted him. Sap. Come on, stop it. Well, after that's a while, I just let him sack me. I do. I, that's, <sighs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm just what did Ed Rohner write? He, he said, didn't write anything, exactly. and that's why. He ain't talking to him. He said, I read that mess that you wrote. Do you believe? And the, the guy said, believe in what? He not, that wasn't Ed Water. I believe they're gonna win more than two games. Absolutely, they'll be two and zero after this week. I, I think and a great player. That I mean, this dude is. He's. I get. I don't think any of you guys could be great coaches. You're too great of players. But I could. No. You, could. you know. You know what you got to be. Yeah. You could be a great. I could. You know what you well, got to yeah, be. Now, but now. Coach. But now, uh, later, later in my later in life, because we've learned. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm not. I'm not as. Hot-headed and fly right. off the handle as we you, were. Sometimes it's best to just pause, think about it, rather than talking or yelling or screaming. So, this, I think there's a call for that if needed. But getting back to Dion, I, I think Dion's at a place in his life where he's ready to accept that role. Absolutely. He's a marketing machine. There's no question about it. You can't fault him for that. From day one, back in the day, maybe, maybe he, he when he was drafted and he was playing baseball and football, <laughs> he was he was feeling it, and it was all because of him. Now he gives the glory to God and himself. Well, I mean, he he I think he deserves some. I don't. 
not as a Christian, I can, I can. Well, we can, and I, and we can argue this, uh, you know, uh, at what level a Christian not, I've is. I've accomplished, I, again, and he's not at a very high level. I've accomplished, in the sports writing deal, I've accomplished a lot. It has nothing to do with me. Nothing. Anything you accomplish on the football, you may not know it, but you, one day you'll find out it didn't have nothing to do with you, 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 you. This, yeah, is, for I mean, this is for believers, if you're a believer. And, and it's just factual. It, it, and so I don't think, Dion doesn't realize that. And I just think at so our age. nothing to do with this. It's already written. You just got to live it? No, it's not written. But, dude, I'm so flawed and so messed up and so. Oh, no. I, 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 I'm born so in un- the sin. I got, a, I got yeah, that part. I'm so unworthy. I only, need, I'm, I'm, only need faith as big as a mustard seed. I'm fine. You, you talk about a belief. It, it, no, come on. I was raised in the church. You, you, you beat me to Sunday school and you meet me at church. Here's what happens, though. Here, here's what happens with great athletes. <sighs> it, it's literally, though, I mean, you have so much success. You get so much adulation. You, you get so... Th- that it clouds things. And, and, and you do start believing. You make your own self an it's idol. You. You, you make your own... And it's called idolatry. You make your own self an idol. I've been through it to a lesser level. To a far lesser level, but yeah, had a lot of success. Gave y'all almost won. So wait, no, 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 I'm talking about as a journalist. As a journalist, I'm just checking. I'm a Hall of Fame journalist, (laughs) sports journalist. I'm a Hall of Fame sports journalist. They got one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. do. And 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 I've been through that mental deal where I thought I was man. I'm it. Look, mom and daddy, everybody counting on me. Blah blah blah. Have there been? Have 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 there been? It ain't me. Have there been coaches in the NFL that you think that have been non-players that are guilty of that same thing that has success? Guilty of the coaches are arrogant. Yes, all of them. Even Bill Belichick's arrogant. Absolutely. He's had a ton of success. That's the only way you're gonna be successful, though. I know. The only way you pick a rugby player in the third round and to play like I, it's, it's something that's good for the team. The smart ones are at war with their arrogance. Dion is leaning into his arrogance and confidence. He thinks it's what makes him successful. That's a mistake. I think you need to visit him. You ain't seen him in a while, have you? I, well, no, I haven't. And, yeah, and you so, need to go visit him. And so, what I, all I can do is look, I look at his post-game press conference. He, he came into his post-game press conference, <laughs> with receipts. sat down, receipts, <laughs> screaming receipts, <laughs> then sat down and started talking about his kid, Shadur, and then fine, and, and then himself, and then finally, and then he started picking on Ed Werder and other people in the media and all this other stuff. <laughs> and finally, he got around to by Monday when he started going on Skip Bayless's show and Pat McAfee. He finally got around by Monday, started talking about the kids, the other everybody else. And and uh, Dion is well intentioned. But, but what happens with, and you guys know it, because y'all have had a lot of success. You've been star athletes in junior high, high school, college, pros. And when you're paying all the bills, people don't question much of what you do. And, and, and it can create an arrogance that you need to be humbled from. And, and so th- th- there's, and because I've been through it. I, I've needed to be humbled Greatly and very a bad child too. So it might, yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I'm all, saying. It might all be in one big big cylinder here. Yeah. You just spinning around. You need to be hum- and and that's all I'm saying for long term sustainable success. That arrogance is gonna bite Dion in the rear end. In my opinion, I'm rooting for him. I hope that he he finds this humility. I hope he hears me if he happens to hear this in context. I would love for Dion. You know who one of my I'm literally who I had a very negative opinion of for years. Michael Irvin. And then I sat down with Mike, and I'm like, oh, my God. That dude's passionate all the, about everything. Yes. And he's authentic. <laughs> and all the, and I get all the flaws. Because every mistake that Michael Irvin ever made in his life, I'm very capable of having made that mistake. No, every we last one. We all are. And so I love Michael Irvin. After me, sitting him down with him and seeing where he's from, I've sat down with Dion. Because, you know, me and Dion have had disagreements over the years. And... I've sat down with Dion. I think Dion's well intentioned, but he's still drunk on his success, and and I get why. 
Okay. I, I, I get why, but I hope he comes out of it. We can all recover from it. Dude, I, I mean, and again, I, on this show, and this Seth done said it, and, and, and you know, I always keep it real. I t and that's why I'm glad. I mean, this conversation has been awesome. It's everything that I <laughs> dreamed about. It would be. Yeah, every, everything right. from all of you. Because I, I do want to just have a real, but if you, anybody, you listen to this show, man, Seth, I talk about it all. I used to live in strip clubs. I used to live chasing 25 year old. You know, I used to, you know, I, I, and I talk about all of it. And I needed to be snapped out of that and humbled. And, and I, I left LA and a lot of money on the table because I needed to get right. It's okay. Uh, Can I make this analogy? Yeah. You know, a leopard might never change his spots, but he does shed a couple of times in his lifetime. Okay? So, while Dion might not be able to change his spots, you know, the, the transformation, you know, he's seen it up close and personal. The one thing he is, he's passionate about what he, what he does. He's passionate about these kids. And I believe he's going to upset the apple cart of, 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 um, of NCAA football because he's going to start snatching more of those top 150 athletes, and it's going to piss off Georgia and Alabama and everybody else in college football. You see what ATM brother said? Who? ATM from oh, no. Jacksonville? No. His oh, yeah. Oh, he told his little Florida. Yeah. Said, so you might be go, yeah. need to go see Pride. 